In the next 30 days, I will attempt to wake up at 5 a.m. every single day. And alongside this challenge, I will work on a single project. So let's start by stating the rules for this challenge. Rule number one, wake up at 5 a.m. every single day. Rule number two, finish the project in 30 days. Rule number three, document the journey. Day four. So uh, day one, uh, started up by setting up the project and uh, I added a uh, Daisy UI and uh, then I signed up for GitHub Copilot. Um, I started out by making a description for the website using Copilot and uh, I then implemented a hero section. Then I ate some food and I went to bed early because I had to get up early. On day two, I implemented a with and without section. I then went to school and it was raining, as you can see, but it's what it is, Danish weather. I uh, then came home and ate a very delicious burger. On day three, I implemented a price section using GitHub Copilot. It is very pow powerful, as you can see. And um, at first, it looked terrible, as you can see right now. But uh, then I made Copilot co remake the design. I then went to school and uh, came home early and went to bed early. Day four, I made a frequently asked question section. I also implemented a call to action section. And uh, I then went to school, it was raining again. And after that, I went to see my parents. Day five. Okay, so today I'm standing in my parents' basement and I wanted to discuss some things. I wanted to discuss two things, how the challenge is going and the state of the project. So first off, the challenge is going uh, pretty good. All days I wake up at 5 a.m. It is uh, actually no problem. It has uh, been quite easy for me. I think it has something to do with me going to bed early as well. And right now I'm going to bed at 8 p.m. Which is early for a lot of people, but I actually find it quite nice. Feels good and it is right around the time where my day slows down and uh, I become very tired. So far, no problem. I actually enjoyed this challenge. One thing I would say is that when you wake up, it can be a bit hard to get out of bed, but... It usually take me a maximum of 10 minutes to get out of bed, so I would say it's okay. And when I get out of bed, I start my computer and I begin working on the project, which is number two. We're going to talk about the project. So the project so far, I have been very effective. I have almost completed the main page, but I still need to fine tune some things and create some more components. I feel like the project is coming along. And for those of you who don't know, the project is going to be a Next.js, React, MongoDB, Mongoose, Mailgun, Stripe, Node.js, Express, full stack templating tool. So you get a Next.js uh, front end and you get a Node and Express back end. That is essentially the product. And uh, I think it has potential. I saw one selling only a Next.js project uh, using the Next.js API, but I feel like um, having the front end and the back end separated uh, makes more sense. So that is what I'm going to create. I don't think I have any more to say right now, but I'll keep you updated. And thanks for the update. For the rest of the day, I just worked and I went to swim 1.2 kilometers. And after that, I just relaxed. Day six. So day six, today was a bit harder to wake up, but I finished the tech stack section. I then went on to get a haircut because later today I am going to be in the movies. And as you can see, I'm looking fresh. I then went to the movies with uh, some of my friends and watched Dune 2. Day 7, today I looked at some schoolwork before working on the project. I then went on to hit some golf balls into the woods, as you can see. I then traveled home from my parents and when I got home I was very tired, so I went to bed.
Day 8 I went to work, I then went to training and then I went home and I got a package from the national championship in hacking. Day 9, today I researched the Stripe API, I then went to school and after that I bought a flat iron to iron my shirt. Day 14. So day 10, I created the Stripe payment system and uh, this you will see a demonstration of right here. And uh, after that, I went to school where there was a company fair where I got this cool keychain and uh, I already have a job. So in the future, I think I'll be making a video on how I got a software engineering job with no education. So stay tuned for that. Day 11, I got up and got ready and I went to work. Oh, I shit. took the newly repaired elevator, which was uh, a bit sketch, as you can hear in the clip. We made it. And I then watered my avocado plant and gave it a bit of pad. I have great news. For the past six months, I've been working on a project for my father and for the company where he works at. Now I, I've, I've landed my first client. It's a huge day and um, I'm going to celebrate it with uh, buying some uh, delicious food. So um, in the future, I might be creating a video on how I landed my first um, customer and how I coded the project. Day 12, I went to work and then I went to the school to the party and I got home very late. And the next day, day 13, I went to the uh, regional championship in hacking. And uh, day 14, I added some more comments in the code and the license agreement prompt. And I also cooked some delicious food. This is 19. So uh, day 15, I went to work and uh, one thing I have learned is that you should not force productivity. So I watched some television when I got home. Day 16, I worked on some backend tasks and added the Google login. And then day 17, I created the credential login and some more backend stuff. As you can see, I am able to log in using Google right now. And day 18, I set up mail ascent instead of mail gun because it was easy to use mail ascent. And day 19, I saw a fat pigeon at work and a broken television. And then my mom came over and I worked a bit on my semester project. So nothing much happened these days. Day 23. Day 20, I worked on the project and then I went to Melmary with my mother. I also went to TGI Fridays and got a huge burger and of course I devoured that son of a gun. And later that day I also bought some Mr. Beast candy. The following three days, day 21, day 22 and day 23, I didn't do much so here's some chocolate. On day 24, I saw my new apartment, which I will be moving into June 15. Day 25. Day 25, I went to work and then to school. Day 26, I went to summer house with my uncle. Day 27, I went for a swim. Then we got some eggs from the chickens and I implemented mailers in. Day 28, I did absolutely nothing. So tomorrow is going to be the last day of the this challenge where I wake up at 5 a.m. Um, every day for 30 days. So um, overall, I think it has been nice uh, trying this out because I thought when 
I initially started this challenge that I for sure would be able to do it and um, tomorrow I will fulfill that um, expectation. I have woken up early for a huge part of my life before so that's why I thought I would be able to do this. But um, in the start of the challenge it was a bit hard to get used to uh, waking up at 5 a.m. and uh, working on my project but I pretty quickly got into it and I worked on my project every day and uh, when I came to around the middle of the challenge it was uh, actually um, quite harder to uh, stay motivated when working on the project so some mornings I would wait a lot of time before actually starting on the project and I had to really um, you know pull myself together um, to actually get the, the, the project done um, and uh, when I passed around 20 days, it uh, got a lot easier for me to wake up at uh, 5 a.m. And uh, actually, I began waking up a bit before 5 a.m. Uh, by myself, so I didn't need to set an alarm. But, you know, I set an alarm anyways because I wanted to make sure that I completed this challenge. I think the project is almost done. I feel like there needs to, there needs to be some mails regarding the sign up uh, so the user can actually confirm the sign up and from there on I think it's done. I just have to uh, make a plan for how I want to publish it. I watch a YouTuber called uh, Mark Lu and um, he has some very good tips uh, on how to publish a new startup. So I think I will follow those tips and steps and um, hopefully I can get to drive some people to my, my product and uh, maybe someone will buy it. But let's see about that. The MVP is for sure uh, done. I'm considering making a separate video on how I set, uh, set up the project and that, but yeah, stay tuned. My conclusion on uh, this experiment is that it's not about waking up early or waking up late or staying up late and going to bed early. It's all about focus. Two hours of deep focus a day, that's all it takes for you to get shit done. I used two hours every morning of deep work and I completed this fully blown boilerplate project in just a month. So that's the evidence. This is one of the best lessons for me so far is that two hours of deep work a day is all it takes. And now that I have my boilerplate project, I will be able to ship products much faster with only two hours a day. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next one. Day 30.